Hey, what's up, guys? This is Calvin. Welcome to a game here submitted by Mr. Sire Gimps as we see the cell come out on round one into a bunch of steel balls here. And of course, <laughs> a turn one scorpion. I believe we're playing, yeah, cost control specialist in this one. And um, I think that we end up just going like assault everything in this game, from what I've seen. Starting off with, I think, assault fang coming out first, based on what Sai gives told us in the Mecha Discord. Give us a heads up of what to expect, you know? So, yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a fang swarm in this one. So the cell on the steel balls, I think that's just pretty good. Um, they're not bad into the sledgehammers, but that's about it. When there's this many crawlers on the field, and the steel balls really gonna get that much value. Yeah, they're just a little bit, they're just, they're just a meat shield, really. Just sort of slowing down Red's force until the inevitable cleansing happens as soon as these sledges connect on these guys. And even though, you know, I do respect the turn one scorpion into this many sledgehammers and acolytes and stuff, it did have potential. The fangs are just too... Uh, sorry, not the fangs. The um, the crawlers are just too much of an issue. Um, Yeah. Crawlers just do a really, really good job of sort of choking up the barrels of fangs. But we do see a soul fang come out right now, so maybe this is the beginning of the Owl Switcheroo, dude. Um... So fangs here, we get another cell on the steel balls, which is grand. Right, another scorpion, another fang at fang range. Okay, dude, so we're going to, I mean, this is about what you expect, I guess. Well, what's the alternative to that play? Would it have been like... Fang fang range? Fang fang mass recruit range? I don't know if you had supply to do that, but... Either way, man, I don't know. So four yangs, uh, four yangs of units. <laughs> four units of fangs on the field, man. I don't know that this is going to be enough to actually kill off this many crawlers still. Like, again, even like three units of crawlers is like a real issue for fangs, man. They just take so long to kill them. Because they don't really, they don't split fire very well. They just kind of attack whatever the closest unit is. Or like something like a wraith, which by the way, I think a wraith against this would be so good right now for blue. Yeah, because the scorpions, they sound cool and all. They look cool. It would be awesome if they get you connected to the sledgehammers. But shit, it, it, it's just not happening. It's just not happening right now. The crawlers is too much of an issue. Uh, senior manufacturing specialist, fort on coding, missile strike. I mean, missile strikes. Okay, fort on coding, fair enough. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah, I really think a Wraithy would just be awesome. To be honest. Especially with Assault Fangs. Um, ooh, no, we've already got range in the Fangs. Maybe Wraith wouldn't be that good. Wraith would be good for one turn only. Because then it would push in front of the Fangs. Uh, a little bit too easily, I think. And just be too vulnerable. So it would work for like one turn. But then it would just like die to Phoenixes or whatever your uh, opponent builds into. Um, red goes into Missile. We just get a crap load more Fangs in the field, actually. A, a ridiculous amount more Fangs. Something of a swarm brewing here. Okay, so not going Wraith here. Um, obviously I can respect the memes here, but what would actually counter this? That's not a Wraith. You know, Vulcan? Just smack like one early Vulcan just right in the middle. Because a lot of the crawlers, actually all of the crawlers are just running straight into the middle against these guys. So if you would just put like a Vulcan right here, it would just hypothetically kill all of the crawlers long before the uh, uh, scorpions get like two bogged down. Attacking these nerds. What is this? Okay. Red going into the old wasp action. Little counter missile here coming out. Biome. I think I like that. Uh oh, we've also got some flanking wasps over here, but they're going to get absolutely decimated by the fangs. Yeah, I don't know what this. Uh, I don't know what this wasp play is. Coming out from red. You think that as soon as your opponent goes into ranged fangs, you got to know what's coming. At that point. Like, they have so many fangs on the ground, and they go into, like, actual fang techs. Uh, I mean, the wasps are going to get away with it for one round, but it feels like they kind of get mulched if they're out-teched by fangs. You know what I'm saying? But, ah, uh, this time they actually get quite a lot of the chaff killed, but again, it's just, it's, it's just enough, man. Like, the scorpions are never getting to connect on the, on the sledges, you know? But yeah, when you see uh, this many fangs come out and they get, like, range enhancement, it's panic time, man. Get some Mustangs, you know? It's all about Mustangs, or even just drop, like, a couple more units of, um... Like, if you're red right now, a couple more units of Stormcallers and just straight up get them Incendiary Bombs straight away so that you just kind of nip it in the bud. 
before the um before the fang stack getting a little bit out of control. I wonder if incendiary bomb is the option here. Just to take care of the crawlers for one round. You could place incendiary like right here, you know. Somewhere that's very, very difficult to counter. Oh. We go for his module instead. And straight into mech rage. Alright, dude. General Gimps believes in these fangs, man. We see the cell come out on the wasps from red here. Okay, then he buys a fresh unit of wasps. So red's still kind of like soft committing to the wasps, which I think is a huge mistake. I think that any value these guys get is basically the same as the value that crawlers would get. You know what I'm saying? Except they're, they're more expensive. Like they're basically just glorified chaff is what I'm saying. Because they're like so short range. Um, like high move speed, short range, die about as quickly, if not a little bit faster against fangs versus crawlers would, you know? I'm not sure about the old wasp action there. But okay. Um, yeah, this is just a lot of fangs, dude. Let's just see how it works out, you know? Maybe we don't need the Vulcan in the middle. Maybe with mechanical rage and the increased rate of fire on the fangs, it might be enough to kill off the crawlers and let the scorpions connect on some more important targets. Increased rate of fire is helping quite a bit. And would you look at that? Might just be enough. The flanks are a little bit scarier, but the middle's actually going kind of fine. Uh, mostly because the scorpions are there to take care of the heavier targets. Whereas these guys dying a bit slower until this chungus gets over here and helps out. Tight, tight. Can you speed things up? Because it is still going to be an L. But we are getting to the point where these fangs, I feel like, are just going to reach a critical mass, you know? I wonder if just going mass barrier next turn is on the cards. That's going to be really expensive, though. Like, surely Red's going to react to this next turn. Either range Mustangs or fire uh, the incendiary round Stormcallers. He's got to. He's just got to, man. There's too many fangs in the field. Two tech, uh, two tech upgrades as well, and we're still not really answering them. He goes into the heavy arc light. Which is more worrying than anything. You can't rely on Arclights to effectively kill off uh, this many fangs when they get the uh, portable shield upgrade. Oh god, no, he's investing in the Arclights! Oh god, and there it is! <laughs> Alright, dude, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I really feel like Incendiary Bomb at this point, just carp at the entire battlefield and fire would be a good option. Um... Honestly, maybe it's, it's just a little bit too late to even go like Mustangs with uh, Stang range at this point. It's just a little bit too far behind the curve. Like, the Fangs would just win against Stangs at this point with as many tech options. Um, Stormcallers, though, they would actually be pretty reliably good here. I'm really shocked, man. I mean, not really, but Red is mistakenly relying on Arclights to try to deal with a Fang spam. I just don't think it's going to work out so hot, man. I mean, look how lo look how much longer these nerds are lasting now. Do we have armor on the Arclites? Okay, could go like armored Arclites. Maybe. But then you still got to deal with the damn scorpions. And they're absolutely tearing it up in the middle. And check this out, man. It's still going to be like an... It's still going to be a loss overall. It's still going to be a loss overall, but it's early days... And blue really isn't taking that much damage here. Okay. Maybe red just feels confident in what he's got, you know? I just I just really feel like this many fangs with this many upgrades can begin to snowball out of control. Super, super fast. Decrease recruitment cost of non-giant units. Okay. Alright, still no tech upgrades at all coming out on the Scorpions yet, either. Okay, there we go, we're going to Artillery Scorps. Grab some more of them. Oh god, these Sledgehammers are going to get absolutely slaughtered at this point. But yeah, with how long the Fangs are actually uh, surviving now, owing to the shield, I actually like this as well, enhanced range. I honestly think that high mobility is also worth pushing. I do believe so. Just because these are Assault Fangs and they are, like, even though they have range enhancements and stuff, they're still lacking quite a bit of range. Like, we're still being outranged by what Blue's doing, for the most part. 
Like, minus the crawlers, obviously. But I feel like just getting them in there as quickly as possible. 50 supply left. You might as well just push the high mobility button at this point. All right. Guess not. Missile comes down. <laughs> the fangs is too fast, man. Most of them actually got out of the way. But check this out, man. Oh my god, that's so satisfying. Dude. Oh my god, this entire unit of sledges just gone instantly. Dude, the artillery scorpions are actually like pretty good. Like, yeah, they they do like slightly reduce damage. But look at those Aki's ah, go, dude. And look at how tanky the fangs are. This is what I mean, man. Like, you can't rely on uh, Acolytes to deal with fangs in the lake game. Like, you will eventually start to lose, man. You will eventually start to lose, because even if the fangs aren't packing the biggest punch, they're just so sticky and, like, hard to wipe with a single... What would you call it? Like, single shot damage because of the shields, you know? You, like, need fire at that point. You need, like, Vulcans, or you need fire on the ground by uh, Stormies. Red is actually going to opt into the Vulcan action. We got the plus range in the scorps now, so they can just start shooting immediately. Man, hang on a tick, hang on a tick, hang on a tick. Okay, a crap load more scorpions come down. We got the plus range of the scorpions, obviously, just real quick. And we picked up assault scorpion here as well. Dude, I almost totally missed that for a second. All right, so assault scorpion on the unit card. Scorpion's HP increased by a ton. Reload time reduced by 1.5 seconds and range reduced by 30. Dude, who gives a damn about reducing range by 30 on a bloody scorpion, dude? It's absolutely insane still as well. Look at that. And so the rate of fire goes down from, like, what? Uh, 5 seconds to 3.5 seconds? Yeah, Assault Scorpion looks absolutely OP, dude. Like, completely busted. And this many Scorpions on the field not being countered by any kind of, like, air unit or whatever. I mean, honestly, the Fangs just don't, Sorry, the Wasps just don't count. What the hell are these Vulcans actually gonna do? With the rate of fire on these artillery boys, those barriers are just gonna crumble as well. There it goes. One goes down. One's 1% 1 health. It drops as well. And so even though, like, a lot of chaps gonna die here as well, a lot of the, uh, crawlers are just running into the fire as well and just dying too. But look at the scorpions now, dude. They just don't care, man. Dude, assault scorpion is insane. I mean, that's just, like, honestly, like, that, that mine... Oh, oh, well, you lose 30 range if you pick assault scorpion. Is that even, like, who cares? Who cares about that, dude? Oh my god. Oh, it's just over, dude. It's just over in the end. <laughs> okay, man. Matt's Fang, Matt Scorpion. Both Assault Mode. Literally only two units purchased for the entire game here, dude. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, if you're able to pull stuff like this off, I mean, it's hilarious and all, but it is also indicative of your opponent's got a thing or two to learn, you know, about like countering things before they get kind of out of control, you know? Um, yeah, early Mustangs with range had to be picked up. If you don't pick up the early Mustangs, then you've got to go some kind of fire much, much earlier on. You know, the Vulcans were, were kind of late on that front. I personally really like Incendiary Bomb Stormcaller spam. If you're kind of behind and you need to hit a panic button to uh, stop the Fang Rush. But none of that really came down. And so here we are, dude. We end with a bang with the Salt Scorpions. What a replay, dude. Thanks for submitting, man.